antibiotics can be classified in various ways, such as mode of action, chemical structure, or spectrum of activity. During this lecture, the antibiotics will be divided into three large groups based on their mechanisms of action. The first group includes antibiotics that target the cell wall and membrane. The second group includes inhibitors of protein synthesis. And the third group includes antibiotics that target nucleic acids. We will go over each of these three groups, and at the end of the lecture, there will be a flashcard that contains all the relevant information from this video. There are two subgroups of antibiotics that target the cell wall and membrane. The first subgroup includes inhibitors of cell wall synthesis, including the beta-lactams, such as penicillins and cephalosporins, which bind to penicillin binding proteins, as well as glycopeptides, such as vancomycin, which bind to terminal D-alanyl D-alanine residues. The second subgroup includes antibiotics that disrupt function of the cell membrane, including lipopeptides, such as daptomycin, and polymyxins, such as colistin. The second group includes antibiotics that inhibit protein synthesis. The first subunit targets the bacterial 30S ribosomal subunit, including the aminoglycosides and tetracycline. The second subgroup targets the bacterial 50S ribosomal subunit, including macrolides, clindamycin, oxazolinidomes, and streptogramin. The third group includes antibiotics that target nucleic acids. The first subgroup targets DNA gyrase and includes the fluoroquinolones. The second subgroup includes antibiotics that inhibit folic acid synthesis, including trimethoprim and sulfonamides. And the last subgroup targets RNA polymerase and includes rifampin. The flashcard mentioned at the beginning of the lecture is based on this slide and it can be found in the community section of our channel. While it does not cover all antibiotics, it does cover a significant portion of them. It is my hope that this strategy will provide a framework for remembering how each antibiotic works and which group it belongs to. And if you have time, Take a look at other videos on our channel to learn about the antimicrobial spectrum of different classes of antibiotics.